What's good, University of Miami Hurricane football fans? It's your boy Alonzo1219, a.k.a. Die Hard, back in the building. Doing a post-game video. It's a little late. I put out one last night, and it was too long. I think you only allowed 15 minutes. I did 15 minutes, 30 seconds, so it didn't upload. Apologize about that. Um, got a few... Got a few shout-outs I'd like to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We got um, Joel Hamilton. Once again, Ace Outlaw, Roberto Uriella, and Gregory Logan, Clutch Assassin. He keeps commenting. He's up the page a couple weeks ago, and he, he comments every week, so I appreciate it. Um, got a um, no fan. I can't pronounce his name. He spells it as H-S-H-E-L-T-U-R-D-H-E-L-L. -L. Sub the page, man. I appreciate it. He made a comment. I'm a no fan, but I got you. I got you sub. You know what I'm saying? He, he made another comment the other day. I can't find it. But, man, I appreciate it, man. No fan. You're welcome to sub the page, man. You're welcome to come over here and conversate. Um, but we do have a little few rules over here. We don't curse each other out. You seem like a very intelligent guy. I think your, 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 your comments were on point and you seem like a very intelligent guy. So just letting you know that, man, we don't do any cursing over here. That's not, that's one of the things that we don't do. And, um, we just try to keep it real with each other, man. So I appreciate you subbing the page, man. Thanks, man. Comment anytime you want. Um, K dot once again, David one two six eight seven nine. Fire sight, man. I hadn't heard from you in a minute, man. I appreciate you subbing the page. You made a comment. I want Butch, but I disagree that he will be a be coach. I think he's a backup option if all else fails. I hope you're right on that. I hope he's only a backup option if all else fails, man, because I really don't want Butch here. You know what I'm saying? You know my opinion on Butch. I want Crystal Ball, but I don't have any numbers to back up Mario Crystal Ball how good he's going to be or whether he's going to be a great coach. I don't know that. So um, I'm just going on blind faith. Now, you guys know a lot about Butch Davis. In my opinion, he wasn't a great coach. He was a great talent evaluator, but he couldn't he couldn't perform, in my opinion. If you disagree with me, man, bring me some numbers. Show me some numbers where Butch Davis has had – Besides one 10 win season, bring me some numbers where he had, you know, any kind of great, you know, college experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at um, Shiano up in, um, I think that's his name. I can't remember his name, but North Carolina. And like I said last week, he's doing a better job with University of North Carolina than Bush did University of North Carolina. And the only thing I put out is numbers. I'm not putting my heart into it. I don't put my heart into it. These are sports. You can't just put your heart into it and go for your idol sometimes. You have to go about numbers sometimes. And. Who's the best guy available out of Butcher Crystal Ball? I have no idea. I just want some fresh. I want some somebody fresh and new. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go back unless we're going back to national championships. I don't want to go back. And to me, in my opinion, he didn't win national championships, so I don't want to go back to that. That's just my opinion. But if he does come out support him, I'll be probably his biggest fan because I try to be as positive as I can be. So, you know what I'm saying? If we bring Butch back, I'll, I'll root for him. But not a guy that I want. Um, Had a few more guys comment, you know. Trying to find, where's, he, where's this guy at? Here you go. Brandon Frick. I live in Elgin, South Carolina, close to Ridgeview where you coached at. I went to I went to the Duke game, best experience of my life. Went to the US, UNC game, was horrible, but I stayed the whole game because I don't get much chance to see my boys. Love your videos, man. Brandon, appreciate the, appreciate the sub, man. Appreciate you liking the page, man. You live right up the street from me. You know I live on Northeast Side. You live on Northeast Side, man. Um, maybe we can catch a, catch a game up at this Village of Sand Hill, man. Go out there and enjoy ourselves at Wild Wings or something like that, man. Hit me up. Let me know what you want to get into, man. We'll try to do something, man. We'll chop it up. Um, on another note, besides the game, you know, well, I'm going to get back to the game a little bit. <laughs> Great game plan. I got to eat crow because I actually thought that they would – score 60 points on us and run the score up and run the ball and we couldn't stop them. And 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 actually it started out that way. We went a three and out. They got the ball, drove all the way downfield. Then we went out again. They got the ball and drove all the way downfield and got to the one-yard line and fumbled the football. And there we had life. And Brad Kaya went to work. Stacy Coley went to work. You know what I'm saying? Um... Rashawn Scott didn't play. Don't know what's wrong with him, but he didn't play tonight. Hope everything is good with him. But Brad went to work. You know, our receivers went to work. And Joku went to work. Hunter Lou went to work. A lot of people know. I mean, Hunter Lou had a great game this game. And David Ajoku was the guy. That, 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 that. He, he's good, man. Um, but Ajoku went, um, I said Ajoku. Hunter Lou went to work today. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we had a, a great game plan on the offense side of the ball. They put 38 points on the board. Had, had what well, defense scored seven of those points. Had a couple turnovers. Defense played great. I got to give Martin Orfield some credit. 
you know what I'm saying? I got to give him a little bit of credit because I actually thought that he would not have a good game at all, but he ended up having a good game. Um, trying to see if I see anything that I'm looking. I was looking for something, but I don't. But I don't see it. Um, but yeah, we had it was a it was a great 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 game call, plan called. Did not expect us to be that efficient on defense. I kind of expected it on offense, but on a defense, I didn't expect us to be that efficient. Um, I'm sorry I keep looking down, but I keep keep looking for a few things that I can't find, and that get kind that gets kind of aggravating. But um, ah, I can't find it. Sorry about that, guys. I can't I can't find what I was looking for. I'll keep trying to um, find it, but you know what I'm saying. We 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 had it. Had a great game. It was a great game today. Great, great offensive game. Um, great defense game. Great all around game. Special teams wasn't great, great, but they were pretty good. You know, we got the ball in good field position. We was able to capitalize on some mistakes that the, that that their offense made. So we can't complain about that. Um, I would like to see us do a few more things. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and fan support. You know, get out there and support the guys a little more. Had a guy on Facebook today talking about Tropical Park. How he would donate a million dollars. To the to to the beginning of a stadium being built in Tropical Park, hoping that you know what I'm saying, hoping that we can move close to the stadium. Tropical Park is a few miles from the stadium, right there. You kids can walk to the stadium from the from the University of Miami and Coral Gables. So that would be a great idea if we can get those guys to if we can get the legislator in Miami to you know pass off on building a stadium in Tropical Park. You know that would be great, man. I think you know 35, 45,000 seat stadium. Would be wonderful. A lot, a lot of people don't realize that. I don't think um, Oregon Stadium is more than like forty thousand, maybe forty five thousand seat stadium, and they pack them in there. They put them right on top of the stadium. They put you right there for a great experience. And I think University of Miami could use something like that. I know we're a small private school, but every stadium is not the Big Twelve hundred and fifteen thousand seat stadiums. You know, you have a lot of colleges that have fifty, sixty thousand seat stadiums, and Miami need to be one of those schools that have a small stadium. That Pro Stadium, even though I like Sun Life, I like the renovation they're doing. That Pro Stadium just 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 does not fit the University of Miami. It does not fit our atmosphere. It does not fit anything that we do. We're a small private school, 20, 20, 18, 20,000 students. So we don't we don't need that huge stadium. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if we can get something close to the stadium. Tropical Park sounds very, 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 very inducive to what we need. So let's see if we can get that happen, man. I appreciate it, man. Everybody go on Facebook. And if you can find that, um, that, that website, He's talking about he like donate a couple dollars. I can donate something. I ain't got. I ain't rich, but you know we can all donate a couple dollars if this gonna help get the stadium there. Um. Besides that, you know I'm gonna sit here and talk. My bad. Me and Dustin chopped it up a lot this week. I apologize, Dustin. Me and Dustin chopped it up a lot this week. He got me watching University of Miami Hurricane basketball team. I watch sometime, but I'm not really, really, really into it. He's got me really, really, really into it. So I watch a lot of games this weekend. Um. Look great. Hopefully we can make it to the final four this year. Hopefully we can win it all. You know, they there's no reason why they got a lot of talent and they got two big recruits coming in next year that already signed. So University of Miami basketball team is looking up and they got an on-campus stadium. <laughs> so let's see if we can do that with the University of Miami Hurricane football team. But I'm going to keep watching the University of Miami Hurricane basketball team. Even when the season over, when the football season over, I'm going to do updates about recruits and everything. But I'm also going to do some updates about the University of Miami Hurricane basketball team as much as I can do. Much I can watch. Anybody got any more questions about that? Man, hit Dustin up. Dustin's on the page. He's sub to the page. You know, ask Dustin a question. You know, put his name in. Ask him a question. And I'm pretty sure he'll get back to you because he always gets back to me. You know what I'm saying? So, appreciate that. Um, got one more thing I want to talk about. Oh, my bad. Two more things. Spring game. Definitely going to be at the spring game. Me and my family always go to the spring game. It's a good experience. Get the opportunity to meet the players. Get the opportunity to meet the coaches. Get the opportunity to get autographs. Everything's free. Going to the game is free. I'm probably going to set up this year. Tailgate, bring the grill out, cook. Me and my family's going to be out there. Me and all my family from, from Miami Gardens going to be out there. We're going to cook, have a great time at the at, at the um, Hurricane Spring game this year. So if you guys want to come out, man, we're probably going to set up a tent. I'm pretty sure Kane Shades will be out there. Probably going to set up a tent. Do our thing, man. Enjoy enjoy the spring game. You guys come out there and let's do this. Um, now let's get back to my Adidas swag. First, told you, if you see me with some Nikes on at a spring game or at any football game, you can take them on my feet right there and I'll walk home barefoot. My old school Adidas. These are my run DMC. Old school Adidas right here. You know what I'm saying? 
get my Adidas swag up all day, every day. I'm telling you, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I done went and bought a bunch of Adidas, man. These weren't that expensive. I think these were like 70 bucks. These weren't even that expensive. So, you know what I'm saying? They got different colorways. They got actually green and orange, which I got ordered right now. I got a green and orange pair ordered right now just for the Hurricanes. Um, then we have these here. These are my D-Lillers. Told you I'm going all Adidas, man. Going all Adidas. No more Nike. I'm switching with my Hurricanes. These are my D Lillers right here. You can see the D right there, man. The D on the back, man. These were a little bit more expensive than those. These things. These were like $106. But these are sweet. I like the colorway. They got a few different colorways. And I'm waiting. They got some green ones coming out too, and I'm going to get those. So appreciate it. Um, now these are two of my favorites right here that I just got. These are the, the D Rose 6 Boost. As you can see, the boots all the way around, they feel like pillows, man. These were a little more expensive. These was $140 but plus tax. But these, I love these, man. These are sick. These are the ones I just ordered. They just got in, man. I wore them yesterday, man. And I'm telling you, it's not the most, it's not a more comfortable shoe. Not a J, not a Nike. If you think I'm playing, go down to the Adidas store. I'll go down to a Foot Locker. If they have them in, I had to order these. Our Foot Locker here didn't have them. But these are probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I ever wore. If you can see the boost foam going all the way, all the way around, all the way around, man. Feel like pillows, man. You got the um, stable frame inside the shoe. You know what I'm saying? You got the stable frame. Man, these are some of the most comfortable. You can see this, this, the stable frame right here. Man, these are some of the most comfortable shoes I ever bought. So I ordered three pair of these. Two pair came in. Two different color waves. I got one more color wave coming in. Um, here's the other color wave. And no, I know y'all see a lot of this red and black. I am not a Heat fan. I am a Knicks fan, but red is one of my favorite colors. So, you know, as dark skinned guys, for some reason, real, real dark skinned guys like red. I have no idea why, but we do. So, this is the other color wave, the same ones, the Boost Foam. Bro, when I tell you these shoes are comfortable and sick. Got a lot of comments when I was wearing them. Everybody wanted to know, man, what kind of shoes they were. Where did I get them from? Where can I order them from? And because a lot of people don't wear, everybody wear J's. And a lot of people wear, you know, J's and KD's. A lot of people wearing them. And they're, a lot of people wearing the fake ones. They don't even get the real ones. They're getting the fake ones. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know if you see, if you're wearing a pair of KD's, they're real or fake. Those aren't that popular right now. So you only can get them real because they're not going to make fake shoes that aren't that popular. So I appreciate it, man. Sub the page, comment on the page, man. Love all you guys. Like I say, man, Kane Shades, much respect. Put my Kane Shades on. For my Kane Shades buddy, Unk Nasty, and everybody over at Kane Shades Radio, man. Appreciate it, man. Love all you guys, man. We're going to keep it up, man. We're going to keep growing. Got 115 subs now. We're going to get 1,500 to 15 million subs one day. <laughs> but, man, I love it, man. You guys keep commenting. It's not my page. Like I keep saying, this is y'all page, man. I just speak on it. And y'all speak on me. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Let me know what I'm doing right. Love it. Um, I'm trying to see if I got enough time. Is this that? Is this that long play? Oh, uh, that was the, that was the false start. Let me see if I can see send us out on a positive note real quick, like man, before my video is up, because I almost got almost got time for this video to be up. It's not too much longer. Here we go. Let's see if this that long play. Let's see if this that play. Is this that play? Is this that play? Is it that play? It's that play to Stacey Coley. Look at him. He's gone. He's gone. Great play. We're going to end it on that note. Love you guys. Throw up the U all day, every day. Not Utah, but the U all day, every day. U swag, 100%. Love you guys. We out.